This is Modern Homesteading. Cold steel. I have never had my hands on a cold steel axe, um, but I've heard a lot of good from about them. Um, there's two that I'm going to speak of. They have this this axe gang hatchet or ganji. It's kind of a, a this is being marketed as a more of a weapon than a user's axe, but I do like it. I like the the oriental pattern, not this writing. I don't care about that, but just the straight cut. You see that a lot in Japanese axes, and, and I do like that. I like the head. It's just really simple and clean, and I think Cold Steel puts out good products. Uh, everything that I've had from them has just been a great value for the money. So I, I don't, you know, that might fit in your in your quiver somehow, but I think that that is a, for $39, I think that that's a fine tool. And I'm really, uh, I really like the Trail Boss. Uh, this is that, that same um, pattern that we have here over on the, Let's see, where was that, that council tools? This uh, Hudson Bay pattern that I like, it's got that angle in it. You know, he's just copied this, but a really effective cutter. And this is one of my favorites that we're gonna talk about today. $46.99 and you get 1055 carbon, you get a decent steel, you get a good proper American hickory handle, a 2.9 ounces overall, um, a great ax for man or boy alike. I think that that's um, a great tool. I have not held one read and researched it a lot. A lot of people like them. So good option. Snow and Neely. Uh, these are exceeding our price point um, a little bit. We're getting into the 57.95 range, but I, I like them. Um, this is, they're calling this their kindling axe. It's a small hatchet, small axe, um, but it's got that Hudson Bay pattern that I like. And you just are just starting to see a little bit more attention to detail. You can see that there's going to be a little bit more time spent on the grind. It's going to be a little bit sharper and you get a sheath, not a great sheath. I'm assuming it's leather, pretty thin, but you know, not bad. It's got this horrible cheesy logo on it there, but snow and Neely. Uh, camping axe, sixty-one dollars. A good again, that same nice pattern uh, that I like. A good handle. This is this is actually a nice axe for sixty-one seventy-five. I would be I would be proud to have this. Again, more detail on the edge. That's really where the price increase is going to be. Is you're going to get just you're gonna it's going to come sharper. How sharp? I don't know. Never had my hands on one, but um, interesting that they would choose to a handle with a mixed grain, a dark and a light in it. You know, you think you would put your best foot forward, um, but you know, I guess maybe a true representation of what you're going to get. So maybe on some some honesty there. Uh, and then, of course, they have their single bitted standard typical American felling axe, which is a, a good price, sixty one seventy five, and you know, you get a sheath. So uh, I think a I think a great value. But I'm saving what I would consider to be the best for last. What do we have here? Yes, the Baco. Again, great review uh, by Ross Gilmore here, here on his Wood Trekker site about this 19 inch Baco Scanvic combination axe. These are going to be hard to find, but if you search your local areas for Baco dealers, go to their website and do a, a dealer search, you'll find someone that sells their products and they can order these things for you. But I'm hearing uh, from people that they have are finding these axes for for around the um, thirty thirty dollar range, and I've yet to see anything from Baco that wasn't really good quality. I love the handle. I love this axe head, um, and it's we're going to talk about some of the options here in just a minute. But this one here is a handle that is what is this? Well, here's the here's a Grand Forest Brooks. Small forest axe. This is my favorite axe. This is the one that I carry. So you can see there the comparison, probably about an 18 inch handle or so, but the head is, is definitely heavier. Nice wood handle, heavy duty. I mean, just look at the girth of that. Very nice. I like the, the colors of it. The black and the orange are very nice. Here we can see the edges compared to the Grand Force Brooks. Uh, you know, not, it's not going to be that as good of a cutter. It's got a little bit too much material right there behind the blade, more than I like. And it looks like this head may be epoxied, which is um, not uh, not the best. Um, but here's the side profile. You know, again, not it's not going to be as balanced and as, as athletic and nimble 
You know, it's a little bit blocky and clunky, but it's a great axe and it's a good looking axe for the price. I, I think that's a great option I'll, and I'll show you uh, prices here in a minute. But uh, I'd read this review. I think for the money, he, uh, Ross says here he bought this one here for around $20. So I don't know where he got it for $20, but he found it somewhere. Uh, here we have uh, the prices. So I found several of these on eBay. It was difficult to find a dealer, but this particular guy here, um, Art Rick Pet Products, whatever, uh, is selling the small one for thirty-four thirty, and that is with free shipping. I mean, that right there is a deal. That is a really a great deal and a, for a good axe. And he says here that there are three lengths and weights available. So I'm imagining that this is probably the smaller one, and maybe there's a medium one, and then the one here fe featured in Wood Trekker is probably the longer one. I like this one. Um, for, this is where I would probably start because it's the same size as the as my favorite axe in the world, you know, the the American felling axe or the small forest axe. So good option there. Um, even you know, just as exciting over here as far as the bacos go. Look at this. Here we have. Um, the Baco, the big felling axe, forty two forty nine. Shipping here twelve eighty five. I think you could find a better price than this on eBay. I think that I did see some. I just grabbed this one here. But we have a fine tool, tool steel, um, full size. Let's pull up a bigger picture of it. I love that pattern. I don't know how sharp these are going to come, but man, that is a great axe for one just that's just all around. It's got a good fat head on it. It's going to carry some weight. It's going to split wood properly, but I mean, aesthetically, isn't it nice? Love the handle. It just, it has that German look of, of heavy duty, you know, strong strength, overbuilt. Uh, I love it. I don't know how the headset with the wedges or that type of thing, but it's great. I, I, I would be really happy to have one of those. So my picks, my top picks, I would look at I do like this one a lot. I think for the money, it's uh, a tremendous value. And I like this one here. I like the whatever model it is. I'm sorry I can't tell you exactly what it is or where to find one, but I know they're out there. With a little bit of digging, you can find one. Um, I do uh, also very much like this Council Tools Boy Axe. Boys Ax. What was our price on that? $27.99? I mean, how do you beat that? $27.99. You know, for a USA made axe. You know, this one right here with um, with their small hatchet, you know, maybe mix it up a little bit. You know, maybe the small boy's axe and then go over and get to, so what do you got? We're at $27.99 here and we have a small boy's axe and then we go over here to the Baco. We can get for $34 a tremendous hatchet, you know, maybe get the smaller one or, you know, better yet, maybe... Maybe forget about the council tools. I I probably it'd be hard for me. I I would probably I would probably yeah. I'm gonna say this. I would go for this one here. My first pick, the first one I would buy would be this one. The the Baco large hatchet or the small axe, whatever they want to call it. And then I would like to get where is it? No, the Snow and Neely is, this is not doing it for me. Small hatchet there, that'd be a good second one. And then the for full size, this big one right here, so you're at 40. So, you know, you're you're not much more over $100 uh, and you get three fine tools. I'll bet if you went with the, if you skipped the middle one and you went with the council tools, $27.99, and then the other two, you know, this one here, well, yeah, I mean, you can work the numbers all day long, but you could have three axes for right around $100. So so that's it. So that is a uh, my review on, on the best axes under $50, short of the Snow and Neely, which are a little bit over. But uh, but I, ho I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was helpful. Um, for those of you guys that don't want to drop $120, $150 on a Grand Force Brooks axe or... $400 on a John Neiman axe. You know, these, these will get it done. And with a little bit of work and filing, uh, you can do it yourself. So, um, I see another video possibility for this. We could do, uh, maybe the best hatchets under $25 or $30, whatever it was. I'll tell you what. You help me out and I'll help you out. 
You guys give me 3,000 thumbs up on this video. 3,000 plus thumbs up on this video and I will do a full in-depth review. I'll spend hours and hours researching and, and get everything that I can find on the best hatchets. What would be my choice for the best hatchets under, we'll say maybe $25. So uh, you support me and, and uh, your thumbs up will talk and you can dictate content um, to a large degree on the channel. So we don't want to close the video on that. Let's close the video on... Oh, what should we close it? Let's close the video on cold steel. I like that one too. I think forty six ninety nine. I think that's nice. Mm, can't say I'd choose that over the council tools boys axe though. Oh, well, maybe I like the head better. No, well, I couldn't fault you for that. I like it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. So, for your viewing pleasure, uh, the top left video is a video of our open house that we had last fall, where. Uh, subscribers were invited to come out and to uh, spend uh, a weekend working with me and this we had a great time and we're gonna be doing it again this uh, fall so I'll be making uh, uh, announcement pretty soon when that date will be so people can make preparations to come on out and spend a few days with us uh, the bottom video on the left is a fun family video we did together building mrs. Wrangler star some small bridges over some of the streams that we have so she can run and we had a lot of fun that day, and uh, it's a fun video, and I, I think you'll uh, you'll enjoy it. So, again, remember, 3,000 thumbs up on this video, and uh, you will get a comprehensive, the best hatchet for under $25. That shouldn't be hard, too hard to do. This video should receive 10,000 views in the first 20 hours or so, and if just a few of you do it, then we can get there, 3,000. So, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.